Did Mary Wilson resent her groupmate Diana Ross? Did you know Mary had an affair with a well-known celebrity of 60s? She was indeed a vital member of the Supremes, one of the most successful vocal groups of the 1960s. She, along with Diana Ross and Florence Ballard, formed the original lineup of the group. The Supremes achieved immense popularity and chart success during their time together. Mary Wilson's contributions to the group, both as a vocalist and as a stabilizing force after the departures of Ross and Ballard, were significant. After Diana Ross left the group in 1970 to pursue a solo career, Mary Wilson continued with the Supremes, overseeing various lineup changes. She stayed with the group until it officially disbanded in 1977. So, if you're a Mary Wilson fan or simply curious about this legend, hit the like button and let's dive in. How was Mary Wilson early life alike? Mary Wilson's early life and upbringing played a significant role in shaping her journey in music. She was born on March 6, 1944, in Greenville, Mississippi, to Sam Wilson and Johnny Mae Wilson. At the age of three, she was sent to live with her aunt and uncle in Detroit, Michigan. Her mother later joined her there. Growing up in Detroit's Brewster Douglas housing projects, Mary Wilson had important experiences that would later lead her to a career in music. How Mary Wilson got into music It was in Detroit that she formed a friendship with Florence Ballard, and they began singing together in school talent shows. Mary Wilson's connection to the music scene in Detroit, including her attendance at New Bethel Baptist Church, where legendary artists like Aretha Franklin performed, further enriched her musical background. In 1959, Mary Wilson, along with Florence Ballard, Diana Ross, and Betty McGlown, formed a singing group called the Primettes in Detroit. The group won first place at the 1960 Detroit Windsor Freedom Festival Amateur Talent Contest. In 1961, after signing with Motown Records, the group underwent some changes. Betty McGlown left, and Barbara Martin joined the group. However, by 1962, Barbara Martin also left, and the Supremes became a trio with Mary Wilson, Florence Ballard, and Diana Ross. This trio lineup of the Supremes went on to achieve remarkable success, becoming one of Motown's most iconic and influential acts. They performed alongside other notable Motown artists like The Temptations, Stevie Wonder, and Marvin Gaye as part of The Motortown Review, showcasing the incredible talent nurtured by Motown Records during that era. The group's journey and talent were instrumental in shaping the landscape of popular music in the 1960s and beyond. Did Mary Wilson have sour relationship with Diana Ross? Indeed, Mary Wilson's memoir, Dream Girl, My Life as a Supreme, which was published in 1986, provided a candid and, at times, critical look at her experiences as a member of the Supremes and her relationship with Diana Ross. In the book, Wilson openly discussed her perspective on the dynamics within the group and her feelings about Ross. Wilson's portrayal of Ross in the memoir depicted a complex relationship between the bandmates. She expressed her frustrations about Ross allegedly hogging the spotlight and using her relationship with Motown founder Barry Gordy to her advantage, both professionally and personally. Wilson's accounts shed light on the challenges and tensions that can arise within a successful musical group, especially one as iconic as the Supremes. Wilson suggested that this relationship led to Ross being favored and receiving more attention within the group. Wilson also described Ross as someone who was ego-driven and focused on hogging the limelight. She mentioned instances where Ross was perceived as dominating interviews and having her own dressing room, while Wilson and Florence Ballard had to share one. Mary Wilson Biggest Lead Songs with Supremes and Solo Career During her time with the Supremes, Mary Wilson shared lead vocals with Diana Ross and Florence Ballard on several songs. Some of the notable songs where Mary Wilson had lead vocals include 1. When the Love Light Starts Shining Through His Eyes, 1963, this was one of the earliest Supremes hits, and Wilson shared lead vocals with Diana Ross and Florence Ballard. 2. Come See About Me, 1964, Mary Wilson sang lead on the bridge of this hit single. 3. Love Is Like An Itching In My Heart, 1966, Wilson took the lead on this energetic track. 4. The Happening, 1967, Wilson sang lead vocals on this single after Florence Ballard had left the group. 5. Automatically Sunshine, 1972, this was released after Diana Ross had left the group, and Wilson took on more prominent lead vocal duties. As for her solo career, Mary Wilson released a self-titled solo album in 1979, which included the single Red Hot. While her solo career did not achieve the same level of commercial success as her time with the Supremes, she continued to perform and record music independently. 
Mary Wilson held the distinction of being the only member of the Supremes to never quit or be fired from the group. In 1976, she disbanded the group. Throughout her life, she shared her experiences and insights through writing. Wilson authored two books on her life and career, the 1986 bestseller, Dream Girl, My Life as a Supreme, and Supreme Faith, Someday We'll Be Together, published in 1990. Through these books, she provided a personal perspective on her journey as a member of one of the most iconic groups in music history. Did Mary Wilson had an affair with this married star? Mary Wilson had a romantic involvement with the famous singer Tom Jones during the 1960s. They first met in 1967, and Wilson was immediately attracted to Jones, describing him as gorgeous. Initially, she didn't realize that Jones was married, and when she found out, she felt betrayed but couldn't bring herself to end the relationship. Despite her love for him, their affair was complicated, with Wilson sometimes calling his home and hanging up if his wife answered. Eventually, Mary Wilson and Tom Jones did end their romantic relationship. Who was Mary Wilson married to? Mary Wilson married Pedro Ferrer, the group's road manager of Puerto Rican descent, in 1974 after meeting him in 1973. Unlike Wilson, Ferrer preferred to stay out of the public eye and worked behind the scenes. Together, they had three children, a daughter named Turquesa, born in 1975, and two sons, Pedro Jr., born in 1976, and Raphael, born in 1978. Mary Wilson cherished her pregnancy so much that she had her elegant stage gowns altered into maternity wear, continuing her performances until the very end of her pregnancies. Despite her fame, Wilson kept her children out of the public eye, and very little information was known about them. Turkessa, one of her children, had at least one child, a daughter named Mia. Unfortunately, their youngest son, Raphael, tragically passed away at the age of 16. In January 1994, Wilson and her youngest son were involved in a devastating accident on Interstate 15 between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. The Jeep Cherokee they were traveling in veered off the highway and overturned. While Mary Wilson sustained injuries, sadly, Raphael's injuries proved to be fatal. How Mary Wilson Died Mary Wilson, the late Supreme singer and Detroit native, was buried next to her son Raphael, Rafi, Ferrer, who tragically lost his life in an auto accident as a teenager in 1994. Mary Wilson passed away suddenly on February 8 at her home in Henderson, Nevada, as confirmed by her longtime publicist Jay Schwartz. She was 76 years old. The cause of her death was hypertensive atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, a condition related to high blood pressure, as confirmed by the Clark County Coroner's Office. The Supremes, one of the most influential and successful groups in music history, received several prestigious honors and awards during their career. In 1972, they were recognized with the NAACP Image Award for Best Female Group, highlighting their significant impact on the music industry. Additionally, in 1988, the Supremes were rightfully inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, a testament to their enduring musical legacy. Furthermore, Mary Wilson, as a member of the Supremes, was honored with a dedicated day in her name in 1973, Mary Wilson Day, in Detroit, acknowledging her contributions to the city and the music world. These accolades reflect the immense talent and influence of Mary Wilson and the Supremes during their remarkable career.